All right, welcome back to Jump One Half. Guess I'll whoops, be switching to Boon apparently to play whatever this level is. I suppose it's fitting to play Boon for the level that is called some sort of Japanese name that I have no clue what it is. Or at least I'm assuming it's Japanese. It might not even be that, for all I know. Hello. We got a lot of layer two here. Okay, wait for that guy. Go here. Uh-oh, Charlie. Alright, looks like I've dealt with the Charlie, apparently. Whoa, that was pretty close. That was also pretty close. Uh, just go, I guess. Dragon coin number two. Oh, I guess I need to jump super high here by jump. Well, super high with relative to the block that I was jumping on, at least. Boink, you're dead. Okay, this one ups the ante on this, so can't jump too early. Nope, that wasn't it. I probably just want to jump as early as I can where I'm not going to hit the munchers. And that lines itself up if you do that, so. Alright, let's wait. Okay, I need to go fast here, and it looks like this is probably the way to that secret exit. Oh hey, I will pop up mushroom. I didn't actually get the one up. Let's just do that rather than trying to kill you. Dead. Let's hope I can maintain these fireballs because for the chucks in particular it's pretty important. Okay, maybe I should have just rushed that instead of trying to burn the guy. He wasn't in a very easy to burn spot. Whoops, that's not quite what I meant to do. Jump one is going up. So that I don't jump too high by mistake. Alright, this doesn't look easy. Wow, it's even harder with the baseballs there, and it's not easy to recover my power up there either. Don't want to make this a Kaizo gate. Might as well just jump on him pretty low and... Uh, dang it, I was hoping to not get him up here. That was close. Um, let's just try to let this guy burn himself. Yeah, see ya. That should actually kill him, which means that I don't have to deal with him again. Dang it, that was not what I wanted him to do. Alright, probably getting pretty close to the end there, I hope. I think I didn't have it last time. Well, there it goes anyways. Isn't this farther than I made it before regardless? Dang it. I started that guy throwing face baseballs again. Let's try to scroll him off screen. There we go. Oh, he's not quite gone. Okay, I'm glad I didn't see any other baseballs there. Whoa, that was pretty close. Phew, that was pretty tense. Chucks are one of the harder enemies, and I didn't have fireballs there, so to deal with them easily. No Junpa, no life. Junpi? I don't know. I, I'm 99.9% .9 certain that misspelling is deliberate. <laughs> Let's see what the normal exit has in store. Hopefully easier than the secret exit, because the secret exit was not that easy. Right. Oh, I just realized I can go back and get that uh, health pickup. The thing that allows me to uh, respawn big on the overworld. That would be helpful. I forgot that that one didn't go all the way up, so I panicked. <laughs> Being small at least makes it a little bit easier to deal with some of these layered shenanigans. Let's 
see yet. Dang it, not quite. Oh boy, maybe I shouldn't have been so cavalier with that one. Well, that just barely worked. Wow, I should not have spun jumped there. It threw me off and then I didn't have enough time to complete the rest of the obstacle. Let's go get myself that power-up. Why don't I? This is it. Yeah, I've got 43 of them. Now I should always be big on the overworld, which... If they give me a power-up inside the level, means I always have a tier 2 level power-up to start with. Which is pretty cool. Because being able to get a tier 2 power-up without having to work for it can be pretty big in a lot of levels. And usually that wouldn't be enough to kill him with a jump. Man, that is tight. small was very helpful there. <laughs> Honestly, I'm kind of glad I got hit. Because that obstacle is pretty brutal. It's very easy to jump just a little bit too late in this game and just slide off the platform, especially with some input lag. Okay, so... Oh, Kai's a block. Gotta be careful. I don't know if there's any more. Also appears to be ratchet scrolling in this area. Have ourselves a cape. The ratchet scrolling makes me very wary. Because it makes some obstacles dangerous that would normally just be, eh, whatever, I fell a little bit. But now it's like, okay, if I fall here, I die. Which is pretty bad. Alright, so I get myself a second cape here. I really wish I had those red blocks. Maybe I should go do that other level first. I'm not even sure if this thing is worth it, to be honest. I already have one. Which inherently makes it a bit less exciting to get a cape if you've already got a cape. Oh boy. That is tight. I'm not sure if it would actually kill me if I missed, but... Dang it. Wow, okay, so that's not how I do that. You know what, maybe I should just... I mean, there's no reason not to go for the Red Switch Palace first, I suppose. No Junpa, no Life by Jabri Sunset and Lazy. Let's see how this level treats me. Some very funky music here. We have point of advice. Whenever a sprite is touching one of those orange star blocks, make sure you are standing on the ground. Does it just kill me, or does it hurt me? Maybe something more complicated than that. Nope, nothing backwards. Alright, so it just kills me. Well, I guess it could hurt me too, but it's not anything uh, more complicated than that. But it's good to know, I suppose. Okay, nor a ninja is normal. I thought he was weird for a second. Oh cool, so now- and now he's gone. Right. Oh, I've got to release the mushroom. Now I have to be careful where I fall. Okay, so if I have the Yoshi eat the mushroom, he's not gonna jump onto the star block for me, so I can go up here. Alright, so it's about- so far it's been about solving little mini-puzzles in order to 
uh, trying to save all these things. Alright, so we want to kill these fish. There. It looked like I wanted to jump up and hit that, but it doesn't look like that was actually useful. I guess it was just telling me where to throw the ice block. Okay, so I've got to go under the Koopas, and when this guy explodes, I, he solves the puzzle himself. Oh boy. So I've got to wait for the right moment. I wasn't fast enough to hit this cycle, but it's clear that it's possible, which is good because it's annoying to wait around for cycles sometimes. Oh shoot, this doesn't... Oh, I'm supposed to throw it at this. There we go, I figured out just in time, that was close. Okay, I get a mushroom. Not sure what I need it for, but... Hurt. Oh, it... I need to get hurt. Okay, so... I don't see any reason why I would want to come back there. I'm not sure why that's a double pipe. Oh, so maybe I want to jump when I have a one of the grab blocks on that... Uh, okay, I know how this works. Whoops. Well, I know how it works. That's another thing for entirely from executing it. Okay. I'm getting closer. Oops. Oh. I'm closer than I was before, so... Dang it. I'm starting to run out of these things. <laughs> I didn't even need to hit the switch there, it was just about being in the air at the right time. The first time I tried to time it, which doesn't make any sense because any time I'm in the air I get hit, I don't need to jump at the right moment or anything. Okay, a reset door. That's nice. After the last one had a reset lava pit instead. Okay, it seems like that's probably not what I'm supposed to do. Okay, this noise is getting really annoying. <laughs> oh, it, oh wait, it puts me back here, but it doesn't matter because I've already solved the puzzle. So am I supposed... how is this supposed to work? Am I supposed to hit them both at once or something? Nope. Alright, so I can hit these uh, from the ground with the key, so I don't need to jump to hit them, so I just need to throw the key and then go to the, to the right. It's clear there's still a bit more to this puzzle, though. So it looks like I want to salvage the key. So I want to grab the P-switch and get down there, probably after hitting the block. But I can't fall. Okay, so I need to use the grab block. That's what that's what that's for. Either that or I might be able to just stand on the P-switch and enter the door, but I'm not going to try that. Also, can I just throw the P-switch up into the on-off block? Yeah, I mean, that works too. Because why not? Okay, so after I do this, Take that. Oh, now, yeah, now I need the, now I see, this is what I need the grab block for. And then I throw it into there. Alright, now I can throw the key into here. Now I throw the key up there. And now I can go in the door. Good, it doesn't take me off the ground for a moment. I mean, obviously that would break the puzzle, but... <laughs> Just makes me nervous anyways. Okay. This pipe continues the normal path. This door leads to an optional puzzle containing a moon. Who doesn't want a moon? I'm gonna go get that. Oh boy, this is complicated. <laughs> There's the moon. And if I trigger the on-off blocks. I have the same deal as before where Yoshi falls onto the uh, star block. So 
So I need the P-switch to get to the moon. In order to get to the P-switch, I need to jump up there, which means I need to be through here, and the Yoshi needs to not be on the orange star block. So obviously this doesn't work, unless I throw it from a bit farther away. So this technically works, but it leaves me with only grab blocks. I can take these grab blocks from over here. Maybe I should do that to hit the yellow block. Whoops, that is not what I meant to do. Good thing there's always that door down here or I would actually just die. Alright, so let's hit this again and see where that leaves us. Oh, but if I do this, I need to take this grab block first. Shoot, I can't get back down. I think I'm just dead. Alright, I think I know the solution now. Dang it. <laughs> it was not that! Alright, so I need to take this, be quick. I need to keep it over here, throw this to this block to keep me safe. Oh shoot. I needed to... I was, I was one step off, but I can't uh, start select, so we're going to die again. <laughs> Alright, so be quick. Throw this up here. Alright, so now I need to grab this. Dang it, I didn't go fast enough. Man, this is the worst place to fail the puzzle, because you actually lose here. Hey, I got lucky. I somehow made it back over here. Well, oh, okay. It doesn't solve it for me, though. Alright, there we go. I preferred it. Whoops. Whatever, it doesn't matter. I can just respawn it. Just do this the same as before. Go back over here. There we go. I now have myself a P-switch. I've destroyed all the grab blocks, but that's okay because I... I need to go down here. Okay, this doesn't work. Okay, cool. I guess I can. if I just go fast enough I can do that. I think that's cheese, but... I won't complain too loudly if it allows me to get this to work. Of course, I gotta figure out how to get over to that key. Oh, I just need to do this. And then we just throw this into here. So I might have cheesed the puzzle, but regardless, I did get to the end of it, so I'm gonna take that moon. <laughs> Alright, so let's go up here. Okay, it looks like I'm supposed to just do this. Oh, okay, so I've only got a bit of time to jump. There we go. Now I'm up here, but I need another block. Okay. Friendly reset door here, though, so I'm not dead. Of course, I might as well be because I'm back at the midpoint, but details. Oh, now I kill the Brock. That's all I needed the grab block for. Okay, so just take the spring and don't be dumb. Seems like that's... Ugh. 
it was a trick. It, you see the disco coming for you, and you're like, oh man, I gotta jump, and then no, jumping just kills you. Okay. Okay, so I gotta lure the disco over here, get momentum, stand on that block. Nope, not quite. There we go. Now the discos are dead. The on-off switch is... I mean, the star block is gone. Okay. I guess we may as well just try it, see what happens. Oh, I've gotta go around. I've gotta run away from the shell without trying to jump on it. I was too busy focusing on the Goomba, so I didn't even think... Dang it. <laughs> get up to P speed already. I don't know what's gonna happen. Oh, it just kills the shell. Alright, well now I can just jump whenever I want, so I'm not sure why I'm still running away from this thing, but... Up here. Okay, it's a similar deal, except I'll be running away from a disco, I guess. Which means I need to probably use the screen wrap to my advantage. can't just run to the side, but it's essentially the same puzzle. Alright. Number one. Oh, one half. Okay, I see it now. What's the trick here? It feels like there's a trick here. Are we just gonna do a different gimmick now? Roland's advice. Holding up during the next part helps. Okay. Wow. Ah, oh, dang it. <laughs> Whatever. Reset pipe makes this a lot nicer. Just keep spitting them out. And I killed something, so... Yeah, whatever was on that star block. So now I can just continue onwards. Um, I guess this is just to make sure I ta didn't tank a hit or something. There we go. Wait, I don't want to ditch my Yoshi. I want to keep my Yoshi. Yoshi actually gets maintained in this game, so let's not waste him. Well, that was a pretty fun level. I... It was a puzzle level with some teeth, you know? Because <laughs> there were definitely a lot of consequences for messing up in certain places. Crimson Button Emporium. A very fancy name for a very fancy switch, I suppose. It will also save the game after I complete this level. Point of advice, the hand blocks are only solid if you're carrying an item, whereas the explosion blocks destroy any item you're carrying. Alright, so we don't want to throw the shell at this Koopa. And there goes the shell. And we gotta be faster here. And I should have jumped before throwing that, instead of slightly after throwing that, which doesn't work. Alright, that's a really weird finger puzzle, but... Whoops, don't fall off there. This isn't supposed to be the hard part. Get up the pipe. Alright, there's a reset door. I can go down here. So I can't bring the grab block through here. So I have to... I suppose I have to flip it up into the air, come down here, and then catch it. There we go. Then we kick it into this. That was simple enough. There we go. Grab block. Okay, so I guess I should just drop it into the rock and then continue going. There's not even really a puzzle here, you just do the thing the mechanics let you do. And just enough time to hit that. Alright. This is going well enough so far. Hit point. I mean, it's a Switch Palace. If anything's gonna go well, it's probably gonna be this level. Alright, so I want the key. I'm assuming this will just be a vine that drops the key. I don't think anything will require me to go fast here. Oh, so I just gotta jump up here to get in, but in order to get out, I have to be careful. What am I doing? 
There we go. That's what I want to do. There goes my key. Sorry, Mr. Key. Now I don't lose anything for going through here as long as I don't mess it up. Whatever, I've got a reset door right here. Alright, let's just get rid of the rock. I don't think it's helping me. Alright, that worked. And now I can just go... Yeah, it's solid to the item, too. Just drop that through there, go around, and... No, that's not quite it. Oh, don't even have to dodge it on its way back. Alright, I have myself a key, and there it goes. So don't just walk over to the shell. I've got to throw it through here, presumably. Oh, and then I've got to go ahead of it, I guess, to stomp on it. So what do I need? do I need the shell here for? I want to. I think I probably just want to stand on those blocks and throw it. And by that I mean jump and throw it because otherwise I just lose it. Oh, I've got to throw it over here. It's moving slowly, but it's moving, so that's good enough. All right, do that, and I need to go to the vine. Okay, let's just do that. Oh, okay. That is considered an item. Oh, alright, here's my second midpoint. What is this pipe? Nothing, apparently. I suppose I'm supposed to do that. I don't know why I'm doing these things. I guess maybe I'm supposed to continue onwards. Assume this is the solution and keep going. Nope. Okay, good. There's warp tiles. I'm gonna see what's down here because I don't know what I'm up against. Okay, so it seems like I want to bring one shell with me. And I probably don't want to throw the other shell into the 1FO. I want to just throw it up. Alright. Oh, it's a P switch. Well, same difference, really, in this case. Alright. So how does this work? Okay, so I want to step on the P- I, want, I probably want to drop the P switch on those, uh, land on the thing, step on the P switch, and then land on the other thing. There we go. And I don't even have to time the shell, really. Okay. This is pretty easy. I should probably try to go fast here, but whoops. Ugh, there had to be a muncher right there. Sheesh. Alright, I'm hoping I don't need to go fast here. I can't see what's below me. Alright, good enough. I'm glad those were hand blocks and not explosion blocks, or else I would have been in trouble. Alright, so I guess I want to hit that, trigger a vine, and then get the spring. Whoops, that was not the right series of inputs. Whoops, I should just grab the spring. Not sure why I didn't do that. <laughs> There we go, now I finally have the spring. I'm assuming it doesn't actually want me to do a spring jump here, it probably just wants me to put the spring on the ground. Ugh. Okay, that is really enough. Okay, I was overcomplicating it for some reason. Assuming it's not just gonna randomly troll me for no reason. Button Emporium, the force of the button you have crushed will morph into bl- your position will also be recorded. Except it won't be, because I'm going to say continue without saving. Because I do not want to have to deal with a recording issue. Well, it's not like it'll cause the recording issue. But... Whoops. Okay. 
I think I'm close to the edge, not quite as far over as I'd want to be. Okay, definitely. Um, so that just happened. I certainly glitched all the way up here. <laughs> I mean, I won't say no, but it's not what I was trying to do. That's for sure. You can die. Now I can go. Looks like this times itself out nicely. Alright. Yeah, that's so much easier than it was before. I don't even know how I was supposed to do that before. And now you're completely out of my way, so let's just kill you. I missed the feather earlier because I messed up and then glitched through time and space. But... At least I'm not dead for it, so I'll take that. Alright, so does one of these have a feather inside? I hope so, because that would be very helpful. Alright, now I gotta be careful. These things don't carry you with them, which makes it a little bit harder to deal with. Alright, I think I just want to... Nope, that didn't work out so well. Well, that certainly happened. It wasn't necessarily all that great, but... Okay. So, bopping the ninji from underneath is not easy, but uh, jumping on it isn't easy either. I think jumping on it might be better, though. But I have to time it with the chuck. Dang it, that was not the right reaction. Dang it. Well, that didn't work. smarter and go in the pipe. All right, is this the end? I hope it is. <laughs> I just went for that right away. Looks like I missed the moon. Whatever. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to go back for this one. It's just a timing puzzle, clearly. Oh boy, that level was actually pretty tricky. The game is definitely starting to get somewhat close to the end game difficulty. Quarrel in the Quarry by Big Brawler and FT. No capes. Or well, whatever, I don't have a cape. I feel like this level is going to be a bit more normal than the last couple. <laughs> Just the impression I'm getting right off the bat here. Okay, some fire. I almost went too early there, but... Okay, that worked out nicely. There we go. It's so easy to touch dragon coins in this game. That's very helpful in places like that one. Okay, just go under you. I could, definitely could have gone a cycle earlier on that pencil, and then I wouldn't have had trouble with this guy, but... Whoops, I was supposed to wait until the best moment, not the worst one. <laughs> Let's see if there's anything in any of these. Nope, well now I gotta wait.
Okay, I gotta go down there and then jump back up. I was envisioning trying to go down the left side somehow, and I was like, how does that work? Whoa. Surprise trap there. Oh, it's just a mushroom. Disable this cannon. Yeah, I did not jump quite early enough there. And that did not work well at all either. Whatever. Two saws. That's more dangerous than one saw. Let's run. And now I gotta spin jump on them. That dragon coin's not hard at all to get. Alright, bouncing high just works well, well there. Now I need to bounce low. Having three saws to bounce on isn't doesn't feel too risky at all. <laughs> Boink, see you all. And there we go. That level went very well. <laughs> Kinda nice to have a level that's just like, okay, you go through it and you do it, after all those puzzle levels where like I don't quite solve puzzles fast enough most of the time to avoid dying in a lot of these situations. Let's see how much time I have. Yeah, that's it. See you next time.